Dit is Papa Alfa 0, ik wil Tingo Ik over de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 19 november 2016. As always in weekends, our bulletin will be in English. We have the propagation news of the RCB and some other additional news. And next to that we have some Morse code, words and an SSTV image in PD90. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. Comes to you from G4NJH in Nottingham. You can find the script on the RSGB's own website. Now the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYA, G3 Wiley, G3 NYK and G4BAO. Last week the solar flux index hovered around the 80 mark with average sunspot counts reaching their lowest level in five years. With sunspot minimum predicted to be sometime in 2018 or 19, this is a taste of what we can expect for the time being. But it wasn't all bad news as geomagnetic conditions were quite settled midweek with the planetary K index at 1 or 2. As a result, the HF bands were alive. Uh, Malcolm G3PDH reports hearing as far as Arizona on 20 metres and the Chiltern Digison suggested openings on 21 megs were possible over a 3,000 kilometre path. Unfortunately, coronal hole activity on the Sunday may once again result in unsettled conditions this weekend, the 19th and 20th. Expect the K-index to rise and maximum usable frequencies to decline, although we sometimes get a pre-auroral enhancement as the solar plasma first hits. NOAA predicts that the solar flux index will continue in the range 75 to 80, but the K-index will likely be in the range 4 to 7 at times, so long-range DX may be impacted adversely, especially on routes over the North Pole. Geomagnetic conditions for the following week, CQ Worldwide contest, contest are also predicted to be unsettled, although perhaps not as bad as this weekend. Trying to be positive, early December is looking better. VHF now. There would seem to be another week of low pressure in store for us, and sadly that means a limited chance of tropo. For the latter part of the week there is an indication for one of the models for high pressure to move in over the southern half of Britain. This represents a limited chance for tropo later in the week, but another weather model refuses to select high pressure to end the week, so it's not to be trusted this far in advance. There'll be some heavy rain and showers at times, so always chance of some rain scatter on the gigahertz band, especially around the coastal fringes where the showers will be heavier. Last Monday's so-called supermoon, the closest perigee since the 1940s, produced improved EME signals, especially on the gigahertz band, due to the low noise, the l- low noise path losses. In the coming week, losses are moderate but increasing. Moon declination goes negative on Thursday and windows shorten, but there are still plenty of EME opportunities to be had. For meteor scattered enthusiasts, the Leonids are all but over, but we now have a major Geminid shower to look forward to in a few weeks. And that's it for this week from the propagation team. The EO79 FunCube 3 satellite has transitioned to amateur radio service now that its primary mission has been completed. AMSAT UK and AMSAT NL have announced that the FunCube UV transponder has been activated with a regular schedule. Due to power budget constraints, the transponder cannot operate 24-7, so an orbit-specific schedule has been developed. The transponder will commence operation 27 minutes after the spacecraft enters sunlight and remain active for 25 minutes. This schedule may be modified in the weeks ahead as experience dictates. The transponder uplink is 435.047 to 435.077 MHz LSB. The downlink is 145935 to 145.965 MHz upper sideband. The output power of the amateur radio payload is about 400 milliwatts. If you're interested in 472 kilohertz, there are two QSO parties on the horizon. On the 26th and 27th of December, it's QRSS, and on the weekend of the 3rd and 4th of December, it's the turn of CW, starting with the sunset about... Um, 1700 UTC, the organiser says that we'll keep on QSOing until your hours, your eyes keep on closing, unquote. The International Amateur Radio Union Region 1 monitoring system reports that the Russian military apparently responded positively to a complaint from Ger- German telecommunications authorities to eliminate an intruding signal on 20 metres. The Russian Navy RDL signal from Crimea had been transmitting on 14.180 MHz using F1B at 50 board and 200 Hz shift for several days. IARUMS said the transmissions were heard for the last time on the 31st of October. 
The deep-seated major earthquake of magnitude 7.5 that struck the South Island of New Zealand last Monday still have pe- has people cut off from road transport due to massive slips and damage. Amateur Radio Emergency Communications National Director Jeff Sayer said L4JS advises us that AREC offered its services but were not needed as the civil infrastructure was coping well. AREC served well during the Christchurch earthquake of 2011 and the latest tremor brought back memories to many of that disaster. The official rules for World Radio Sport Team Championship 2018 to be held in Germany are now available. Noteworthy amongst the WRTC 2018 rules is permitting the use of spectrum or waterfall displays and a prohibition on the use of second or sub-receivers. It will continue the two-operator, two-transmitter format of the early WRTCs, so both stations will be permitted to transmit at any time to maximise their scoring. Also, only one computer is permitted to be attached to each radio, and PCs used in the effort must connect via wired Ethernet. See WRTC2008.de for further details of this event. On the 13th of November, a new Greenlandic um, Greenlandic beacon OX4M went on the air from HQ90AL. Frequency is 70.047 MHz, running 25 watts into a dipole radiating north-south. The beacon transmits PI, P14 and, well, it might be PI4, PI4 and CW plus carrier and also had a sister beacon OX6M on 50.047 MHz. Deze middels zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo. En denk eraan, als je gaat solderen, dat je steeds alleen de kant van de soldeerbout vastpakt waar het draadje uitkomt.